Welcome back, Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Collective energy reading. If you're, if you have Cancer in Venus or Venus and Cancer, however, however you say it, you can also use this information in regards to relationships. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. July 2021. Now, energy is fluent. You know, it's constantly moving. So if you find this video in three months, it's because the energy is this way for you in three months. That's just how it works. But this reading is in July 2021. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, and rising. <sighs> All right, past. future, or excuse me, present, future, advice, influences, obstacles, and possible outcome. Because remember, free will is a game changer. All right, cancers, past, judgment. So you're kicking this off good. Um, decisions that you've made in the past, what looks like will be affecting you this month. Um, so the judgment card, whether these are decisions that you made that affected other people, that other people made that affected you, or that honestly that you allowed to affect you, but whomever these decisions came from these choices I mean it's about seeking truth so whether they're seeking their truth or you're seeking your truth um, that's what's rolling into this month so just remember you don't want to allow somebody else's truth to affect you negatively It is not fair for somebody to push off in cancer. You're so empathic and sensitive and your heart's really big that you tend to put up walls as soon as you feel as though, you know, somebody is judging you. So just remember that this is their problem. All right. If this is about somebody else's judgment on you, it's not yours unless you allow it to be. nice so you're letting it go in the present you are just letting this go you're just accepting it and moving on letting it go future so this is this is bringing up some red flags here. So I'm going to just recommend that you be cautious in your decisions to let this go. Um, how you're letting it go. Are you saying that you're letting this go? This, this issue here, maybe you're not wanting to face hard truths about yourself or decisions you've made in the past that are coming back to you. You could be choosing to ignore these or, in, in, you know, instead of facing them, you could be choosing to do so by overindulging in things that are not good for you. And if we look at the three of cups in the upright position, they're beginning their party. At the end, they hung over, girl. So... 
put away the uh, substances that perhaps you are, and this could be overspending as well, spending too much money, um, drinking too much, partying too much to try and deal with this judgment that, you know, you say you're letting go. You have to acknowledge it, breathe through it. You know, you, if this really hurt you, which you're a cancer, so it did. You have to acknowledge every time the pain comes to you, occurs to you, and then let it go. Interesting. So you have the two of coins. And what's interesting is this is what I was just saying. <laughs> it's like I'm psychic. Um, so interestingly enough here, you don't want to let your pride get in the way or your ego get in the way. Or you're could perhaps not be admitting your own faults to yourself. Hey, spoiler alert, you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. No one. It is okay to screw up and grow from it. Success is built on failure. We're here to learn all these wonderful life lessons. And without them, we're going to keep repeating them. So grab that knowledge out of them so you don't have to repeat them. I'm sorry, the fan's making a weird noise. It's 102 in California. So it's staying on. Sorry. All right. Influences the world. Oh, good. You know, that's what we want. Setbacks. Yippee. All right. So I feel as though the influences and perhaps self-medicating or self-destructive behavior here is, you know, this is what's going to hold you back through the month of July. And we're in cancer season. So don't let it hold you back. All right. Don't let it hold you back. Self-acceptance. Valuing yourself. Even the ugly bits. The non-perfect bits. Because perfection is an illusion. Mm. Yay. Yay. So obstacles. <laughs> All right. So I literally was being shown an image of you falling on your own sword. And then we have the five of swords show up. You're saying you're letting this go, but you're being self-destructive. Self-destruction. You're wanting to stick this in the shadow and not looking at and not look at it. You have to look at it, acknowledge it and let it go. I acknowledge I have this regret. I acknowledge that I'm feeling this regret and I release it into the universe to be recycled into neutral energy and then breathe in one, two, three, four, five, six out one, two, three, four, five, six until your anxiety is curved in out and yeah you might spend an hour doing it but let's not overindulge let's not overindulge in alcohol medication drugs spending any way that you're self-destructing Oh, shit. Okay. Well, 
you do have the possibility to get away from this. Is it going to feel awesome? No. You're wanting to leave this situation. It's not a good situation. It doesn't feel good. It feels pretty crappy. So you're wanting to leave it. You're wanting to get out of it. How you get out of it is ultimately up to the decisions you make. I wasn't going to do oracle cards, but I think I will. And these are still on my desk. So we're going to do these soul trees. Cancer, it doesn't feel like a fun, loving month for you. But it does feel like a purging month for you. It feels like you have the opportunity to purge. Uh, the way that the planets are aligned right now, I think it's Mars. No, Mercury, Mercury, Ju Jupiter, and Saturn. This is about, we're in a rebirth cycle. So you have to purge all the things that are dying and not serving you so that you can get to the cycle of rebirth. And it's up to you to set the energy for the kind of soil this rebirth is going to grow from. All right, so we have new growth. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Sixth chakra, third eye, and trust. Trust in the process of the growth. Trust in the process of releasing, acknowledging and releasing. Acknowledging what is causing your anxiety. Acknowledge the mistakes that you've made. And learning from them. So you can't just say, well, I acknowledge that I did somebody wrong and I release that energy. No, you have to make amends. Sorry, boys and girls. You have to make amends. Because you have to fix it. There's some things you just can't fix. But you have to put in the effort. So if you are, for some of you, it feels like you ha are estranged, have a strange family. Well, it takes two to tango, as it is, as it were, and as it always will be. But that doesn't mean you can't apologize for your part in the separation and the pain that was caused by both parties. Acknowledge you've caused the pain to them. Acknowledge you've caused the pain to yourself. Try to reach out to them, letter, email, text, and then forgive yourself. It's up to them if they want to forgive you. If they don't, that's because they haven't forgiven themselves yet. But forgive yourself. Make your amends. Move on. Also, right now with the planets... Being aligned, you may be feeling um, a little, the way they're aligned right now, you may be feeling a little psychic or a lot psychic, as it were. Um, and now this is just kind of true for everybody, not just for you, Cancer. But keep that in mind that you're really going to be receiving a lot of psychic messages this month. Um, try not to confuse the messages with your own energy. Just remember, if you're feeling anxiety, to stop and think, is this mine? Is this coming from my lessons that I'm trying to work through right now? Or is this coming from somewhere else? The thing about rebirth, again, is that, you know, for this new growth, something had to die away. So it's in that process of dying away. And it's not going to feel good. It's going to be a struggle. 
So it does feel like you need to do a lot of meditating, a lot of getting away from negative situations, situations that just aren't suiting you anymore. So if you're just sitting around in your lazy boy or lazy girl, I'm not affiliated with them. This is just a term that's been used because of a chair anyways. You know, if you're just sitting around on the couch, sofa, chair, whatever you want to say, and you're not getting out there, you're not changing the stagnant energy that you're stuck in. You're stifling yourself. You're stifling your growth. Yeah, it's hot as hell out there. So get up early in the morning and go out there. Take a walk. Take your shoes off and dip them in the pool, your feet in the pool, or walk around in the grass. Connect with that earth energy. Meditate. Do a home cleansing. And remember, so this is the thing about cleansing your home. You don't, a lot of people think, well, I'm just going to go and I'm going to smudge my house. Now, if you're going to use sage or sandalwood or whatever it is you choose to clear your house with, I like personally, I like using frankincense. You also have to bring in the energy you want because if you remove negative energy you're leaving all this open space so you have to say a blessing on whatever you're using so let's if for example a lot of people use sage and you want to burn sage in your house you need to say a blessing over the sage or find an elder that can say the blessing for you mix in some prayers of your own but you know you need to pray over it and bless it I remove this negative energy and I bring in positive energy I cleanse this space of negative energy and I fill it with positive energy whatever you want it to be Negative energy may not stay in this place, only love and grace. Okay? So if you're going to cleanse your home, do it right, please. It's really frustrating. All the people saying, well, I just smudged and it's all better. No, it's not. It's a temporary fix. You have to do it right. And you can do it just by meditating. Go outside, meditate, connect to the earth energy, connect to your higher self energy. Take that energy in your house. Picture it filling every nook and cranny, every carpet fiber, every corner and the ceiling and the floor and see it pushing out negative energy literally in your mind's eye see white neutral energy a silver energy and see it decimating any dark negative energy and only that positive energy your intention staying in the place you don't even have to burn incense you can do it with your own powers. All right, Cancers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Show love. Thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. If you don't know what to comment, just comment your sign below. I appreciate you guys.